Morning, Howard. How are you doing, kiddie? How are you doing, mate? Thanks, man. Thanks for inviting us down again to do a bit more video on your, your yeah. Wallace traction engine. Uh -huh. um, what we're going to be doing is boiling our firebox stairs, is that right? So, the firebox is in. Yep. We've done the riveting. Yep. We've tubed it up. That's right. Um, we're going to get a start putting the stairs in. Excellent. So, today's job, John, we're going to be putting them. Um, well, drilling holes and, and threading for the uh, for the stairs. Right. Um, the stairs basically are going to stop the boiler pressure pushing this big plate out over us yeah. and the uh, and the firebox plate sort of right. in over us as it were. So, yeah. in essence, we're going to be drilling holes, threading them, and, and later on we'll put some uh, specially made threaded bar to hold these together. Right. To, to, to basically so these are the ori these. original holes, which are going to make bigger. Yes. Obviously, so, it, it, it's a brand new firebox inside, so there's no holes in the firebox. So when I took the old firebox out, yeah. um, I ground all of these off and, uh, and, and managed to wind them, them out over us. Right, but okay. in actual fact, we, we, we've got six to do today. Yeah. Um, these threads, to be honest, they might have recovered, they might have been okay. Right. But a lot of the rest of them were uh, So you, you, were you've, you've, you've sort of gone up one size? Took them up, we're, we're, we're taking them up, so this is the new size we're going to, which is uh, 10 threads per inch. Yeah, it's a strange thread, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So, in essence, what we're going to do is drill through these, yeah. um, and then uh, and then thread them. Now then, I've got a bit of a problem um, that I've got to uh, rectify. The new firebox inside, obviously, is virgin steel. Yes. Um, so I'm going through these with a 22 mil drill. Right. Obviously, I can't go straight into a 22 mil drill yeah, into virgin steel. Yeah, you've got to put a pilot well. in. Yeah. So I need to put a pilot there. So what I'm going to try and do, I've made this little thing. Uh, so I'm going to just run that up into there. Yeah. That will serve to centre my pilot drill. Right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, and then we'll take that out, swap it for the bigger drill, and go through with a bigger drill. Right. Okay. So let's get the drill in now. I'm trying to do this by traditional methods. Right. But I'm going to cheat because I'm fetching the man. Yeah. Let me guide it. So that's just really to line it up so I'm centering it on the hole. Just remember the inside. That drill's locked in place, so you pick your centre up. That's right, so yeah. I don't need the, uh, the guide anymore. So I'm going to put the, uh, the finished drill size through. How are you finding that stuff? Can you? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, right. it's, it's uh, I've, I've been swapping between using the oil and that stuff, yeah. and as I say, for doing this sort of thing, it's ideal. It's great. It's, no it's very economic, you don't need a great lot. Yeah.
right, we're going to get into proper old fashioned working now. Proper old fashioned. Um, this is the top. I'm going to use this here. It's uh, 10 threads per inch. Now, the next stage obviously is to put the stairs in. Uh, the stairs, I've got one here. Um, in essence, the threaded bar. But the thread has got to be sort of, I think the word's contingent. So it starts here, finishes on the inside. So I can't just put an ordinary top in this side and go and put it in the other side because the wooden. Right, it's, the, the, the threads are going to be like in mesh sort of thing. Correct, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So really, you're, you're putting a top through the air between as well. Absolutely. If, you, if the air was, if it was full of ice, it would be a worn solid. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. So basically, the top's got to be a good long one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, this top will chance to be as old as the engine, really, right, right. you know. So I've got what, to be... what that, that's 10 TPI. 10 TPI. Which is normally, it's 11, isn't it? Normally. Well, I've, not 12. I've, 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 for, for steer tops, I've actually got a range of them from yeah. sort of 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right, right. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, so it actually starts off, as you can see, it's almost a reamer for the yeah. first part of it. Yeah. And then goes into it. So it's basically got to go right the way through and out the other side. Okay. So we'll get a bit of your magic. Uh, a bit of the Martian snot. <laughs> Some people call it other stuff. But. <laughs> So you wind this in with a big drill, do you? Well, or do you do, I, it, do it by hand? I'm doing it all by hand. Yeah. You know, um, I think if I had a, a sort of more modern spiral top, I'd just bang it in with a with, yeah. with a drill. But obviously, you don't want to be breaking the top. Eh? To be honest, John, I tried it with the uh, with the big drill, and it doesn't like it at all. No, and no. Uh, and I mean, really, with these old taps with the uh, the straight flutes on them, you need to back them off yeah. every every turn or so, and uh, it's too well. I dare bet it'd be a four-figure sum to uh, to replace it, and I've got another, so I've got to be careful with it. And these are the last six. I'm not smashing it now. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Right. Then. So we're just getting a, a start. As I say, that first so that, of that's, all, that's going right through in a locating on the hole on the inner firebox. Yeah. Basically, yeah. so it's, it's pretty much going through this plate. Yeah. Um, the guides through the inner firebox. Right. Obviously, we're starting to cut the outer first, as it were. Yeah. But as we get further and further in, it, it'll, uh, yeah. it'll cut water. Like, like you said, and, and it's a, to screw the, um, the stain, it's got to be all in metric. It's got to be, yeah. Absolutely. So, so it's a sort of continuous thread right the way through. So the technique that I was shown with these a long time ago, um, so get a, I mean, you see it cutting, get a half a turn in, back it off a quarter. Yeah. Half a turn in, back it off a bit. If you don't do that, you can feel the top. Feel a sort of bite, yeah. Bite, you know. I mean, it's very much by feel. Obviously, as you're cutting, you can sort of feel it biting and feel, yeah. feel it uh, working. And then other times, as it sort of gets further through, well, it's so it really, food. really want you to done four or five of these. These will have had enough. It's <laughs> you know, it's not bad work. To be it's just, you know, it's sort of, uh, it's one of these jobs you can just knock your brain out the gear a bit and then. Uh, I would think the first two will be interesting, and then after that, <laughs> you're screwing the tap in, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a bit like well, and it's good at first, but you. you start, get uh, thinking about uh, other jobs that you should be getting on with, as it were. Yeah. As I say, it's a tedious sort of a job but uh, yeah. Feel the, you can feel the top engage on the inside, oh, yeah. Oh, you can't, yeah. You can't really get it wrong, like. It's got to be, it's got to be straight, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel it's starting to cut now. The 
drink, start recording me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not the sort of job you want me doing on a Saturday morning after a Friday night out, is it? Not really, no. <laughs> I'm not used to this sort of thing anymore. <laughs> so manual labour. I don't do it anymore. <laughs> well. <laughs> How many holes have you done? Well, there's, a, there's 132 in it in total, and, uh, and to be honest, John, those are the uh, those ones there. The are the easy ones because uh, there's good access to them. Yeah. Um, the ones on the front here are a pill because you're having to do them with a ratchet, and the uh, the thickness of the steel plate and the front of the fire, the new firebox is thicker. Is thicker. It's 15 mil, so it's actually harder as well. You know the the call of prison officer are a screw. Right. You know what they call them a screw? Uh, go on. Well, in the olden days I had a wooden box with a handle sticking out of it. Mm -hmm. And they used to make a prisoner turn the handle. Mm -hmm. It did nothing. Yeah. Now it's a big screw on top to wind you up to give it more resistance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the screw used to wind the bastard down to make it harder. Mm -hmm. And that's where the word screw, screw come from. <laughs> so I've been told anyway. Mm -hmm. So you could be doing this as well. It's <coughs> a bit of punishment. You must have been a bad lad, you. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it now. You come round to your way of thinking. Yeah. You come round to your way of thinking. Once again, it's time to see you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It is quite important. I keep saying thanks for all the kind words and messages. I'm getting emails all the time and handwritten letters um, basically regarding my mental health, which has improved dramatically over the last few weeks. Um, I'm not right, but I'm certainly getting a lot better um, because I did see help, which is something you've got to do. The stigma of mental health in blokes has got to be taken away. Uh, it's just it's just not nice. You need to get help. Anyway, thanks for watching.